Today, the last of the paladins gets painted and ready for the table. Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. So Sir Ronin is Sir Ronin is primed in metallic platinum primer from Krylon Fusion. This is not a uh, typical primer for hobbying, but I want to use it because this guy has a ton of armor on him. So we're starting off with a little Banshee Brown to do entirety of his cloak. Now this metallic paint actually does do well with other paints covering it. You don't see the metallic through it too much, especially if you put a second coat on if it's too light, which is what you want to do because you don't want to remove any of those beautiful um, details, right, when you're painting these miniatures. Uh, and I want to thank you all for watching. And if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything to do that. And it shows you some new videos that I'm coming out with. I'm painting the entire Massive Darkness 2 Kickstarter with a few... Uh, boxes that I didn't pick up but anyways that is a different story because at some point your funds just run out and speaking of funds if you want to become a patreon like some of you already are you can join that you could also send me a Kofi, and you can also just send me a tip all of those links will be in the description all right we're done with his robes we're moving on now to some amber skin this is super easy for his skin and his hands so don't forget his face he's got this little face protruding out of that helmet and his ha uh, oh sorry no you know what he doesn't have hands he's got gloves on i forgot about that charred brown this is not the color i was expecting this thing came out like black charred brown on a bottle looks like it's a dark brown a uh, reddish color even to it because I wanted his glove or this leather armor underneath to be that reddish color like in the artwork I'm gonna stick with this. I mean I could have painted over it again, but it, it was just awful It's not at all what I was saying. I mean, just awful Zealot yellow army painter speed paint now just to do the hilt of his handle because it keeps the shine through And we're also gonna do that circle around the middle part of a shield Next, we're going to use some Rigid Brown. Now, this is a unique paint from the Zombie Side Invader paint set from the Army Painter, so you can't get this anywhere else, but I'm sure there's other browns out there that act the same way. We're doing the inside wood part of the shields. We're going to be doing his gloves. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of sections with this Rigid Brown. By the way, I've used this Rigid Brown for a long time. I bought This was my very first paint set I bought from the Army Painter to start painting the uh, Zombie Side Invaders. Uh, miniatures which I've never put on the channel before but uh, there's a picture of them all in uh, the video of all zombie side miniatures painted you can find that on my channel so don't forget to do his gloves and we're gonna be doing all of his pouches as well with this rigid brown again you can tell that the metallic paint doesn't come through this uh, because it, it gets covered up very easily when you use an acrylic paint but if you want to like use contrast paints on this you could but then the shine will come through or speed paints or whatever and then the metallic will come through like you can see with the zealot yellow uh we're using rigid leather now uh this is from the dnd paint line this is a very uh unique paint again not very unique but just a unique paint in their paint line uh and we're gonna use this on the belts on the um, straps uh, the things holding his shield to his hand, just the belts on the back there. Uh, he's got some belts also dangling down on the side of his armor there. You want to make sure you get everything with this rigid leather. So we had rigid brown and rigid leather. Fur brown. As you can see, there's a lot of brown on this miniature. This is going to be going now on the uh, sheath of his sword. Uh, we're doing this for a couple more straps, a couple more little dangly thingies here. Uh, just that, and you, I mean, it's a lot of brown, but you see the contrast between the browns. Now, this one is pretty close to that rigid brown from Zombie Side Invader. So, if you didn't have it, you could have used this on all the the things and just you know made it very very strikingly similar. But there's a little difference to it. There's a little nuance there, and you can see it here when I'm painting on the shield. It's like a little bit more brown than orange. So don't forget those little straps he also has on his armor there on the back and the front uh, to get that done. All right, now we're going to be putting some light tone on the entirety of the miniature. Did I really want to do this? Yes, you know what? I didn't want his armor to be just dark armor shining. I wanted it to be a little bit more dirty, a little bit more dusty looking, uh, a little bit more grungy. And that's how Sir Ronan is going to look on the table. So the last of the Paladins is painted and ready to go. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.